Hey everyone, and welcome to part 7 of my Blinds playthrough of Fatal Frame 3 The Tormented. In the last episode, we finally faced off against that, uh, that cleaver-wielding priest, which, um, by the way, uh, or so I've been calling him, but it occurred to me when I was con considering my intro here. Oh, here, photos. I bet we can see his name. And we can. Hidden Face Man. Hidden Face Man. Okay. <laughs> I bet that's translated from something way more enigmatic and spooky. But okay, Hidden Face Man it is. That's that's Hidden Face Man. Yeah, man, we wrecked this guy's face. Like, he didn't know what was going on. This is how it started. He, like, and then it was like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like, did no, had no idea what, he was not used to that sort of treatment. Good gravy. Anyway, oh, not only that, but it, it totally softened the blow that we ran into that Shrine Maiden first. I was expecting the Shrine Maiden to jump out. I even came up with in my head when, when I was expecting her that, like, if she, if she, like, maybe she stakes you and then, like, you're, you're slow and then she, like, gets faster or something. Like, some kind of creepy thing that, you know. But, like, and then this guy jumped out. And then we just, like, the, like, the abuse, the apps, the, the assault on this guy's dignity. I don't even, we just wiped the floor with him. But anyway, also, when I was checking back my last video, when we took a picture of this thing and we saw the Shrine Maiden, I totally thought she was, like, nailing this thing into the wall or the door or whatever this is. But it wasn't. When I watched it back, it was actually, it looked like that doorless room. Um, it's, like, a room with, like, a ceiling and, and a bunch of walls but a peephole only. Um, we're going to go back there. I'm thinking that that's a pretty good lead on what to do next. But, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, Men in White. Men in White. So, yeah, this is the Men in White, and this is Hidden Face Man. I would call these guys priests, and this guy the, the cleaver-wielding priests. Probably because they're hats. Their hats are, like, the same. Okay. Okay, anyway, sorry. Little little detour to, to <laughs> just find out names and stuff. Oh, wait. Uh, no, 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 this is not the right way. This It's this way. Oh, hello. Uh, are you trying to chase me? Because that was bad timing on your part, I tell you what. Oh, it got me. Oh, I got you. Oh, I started advancing. Man. I was gonna do it, but he's through the door. I, I thought I was afraid I was gonna waste ammo. Uh, let's go, buddy. That would've been a cool one, too. How's it going? Nope. Yeah, your boss tried this. I like to think that after, man, we are, we are really doing well. <laughs> um, I like to think that after these guys get like, you know, exercised or whatever, they like regroup and like, and they're like all like holding their face. They're like, she gets you too, Gary. And then he's like, yeah. <laughs> like Ray is, seems like the most badass of all the ones we fought. Oh, you know what? I realized I, I caught that our points were kind of high when we, uh, <clears throat> I have to use slow. The next thing we do, ooh, sen yeah, sensitivity is working well. That goes really fast, doesn't it? Should I do store? Maybe when we get blast, I'll start pumping into that. Range would be nice. Max value would be nice. Yeah, because now we go fast. Now it accumulates faster, so now we'll have a higher total. Cool. That sounds good. Okay, cool. We'll be doing more damage, hopefully using some less film, too, while we're at it. Okay, so this is the right way. I, I went the wrong way before. Apologies, guys. Uh, I bet the quickest way is actually this way. Because now that there's not, there's no, like nothing is obstructing our way here. Okay. I'm actually gonna. I think I forgot to get that going also. Did I? Yeah, if I, I usually start myself off with one, but now we're ready to go. I do get the feeling we're going to get jumped at again. Man, I would really like some great film. I tell you guys what. Oh, wait. They replenish both, don't they? I guess that doesn't really matter. And wait. Is there a... No. I think we could see it. There's usually healing on that barrel. I was considering <laughs> checking again. I think we've been here in this... Uh... Yep. Right here. Oops. Come on, buddy. I'm hearing that whispering. <gasps> That's what she's doing. She's using the hammer and stake to, to carve those things that we were seeing. And you can hear the whispering from, um, so, man, that, the slow thing kind of freaks me out. 
You can hear the whispering from her. This is the sleeping girl, right? This is, I think, the sleeping girl. That's either the source of the tattooed girl or something. Oh, man, we have one more of this. I, I think I'm, I might have to take a picture here. Should I have taken another one? I didn't want to waste film. We're not doing so great. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Uh Oh, return. I keep doing that every time we're here. Okay. Is something going to jump out at us? I feel like something's going to jump out. Oh, wait. No, that was it. Shoot. How about here? The mom and daughter have been jumping at us a lot here. I guess I won't bother saving. I just did that. I just did that save state to get started. I usually just double. Ch I my my like my mo is to make sure that I get a save state in the beginning in case something crashes or something, which just happens sometimes. I think it was on this one actually. You can hear the whispering. Man, you can hear the whispering from here. All right, off we go. Whoa. Oh, no, don't get me. Oh my God. Okay, what is that? That wasn't right. Oh, I slowed her. I can't see her anymore. Oh. Oh my god. Again? Oh, again? She comes at me pretty fast. I better wait. Oh no! You finally came. You finally came. Who is that? Who is it? Woman brushing. Oh man, slow was so useful there. She was so fast. I was just saying about how, uh, I was just saying about how, oh wait, was I just saying or was I just thinking, I don't know, that I was expecting the, the fighting to pick up because of how, how, how it went with Cleaver guy, hidden face man. I'm never going to be able to say that without smiling. That's, that is a uh, very, that's like, they finally show his name and it's like, Jeff. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's Jeff. Okay. God. Uh. Oh man, woman brushing. That's man slow worked so well on her. Okay, wait, let me think about this. Oh no, this is this is good. This is good. This is a Dianthus. Was woman brushing maybe woman on second floor? I don't think so. She was way more mobile. She was very spry. She was like swimming through the air at us. That was like, so that was so intimidating. It's tightly sealed. Okay, so I guess we're just supposed to go where we're supposed to go. I won't. I really wanted to, uh, man, I tell you what, before I started, one of the last things I did before I started, like, considering my, uh, what we were going to do first was, um, oh, wait a minute. Well, we're going to go this way anyway. A second guys I'm gonna I'll finish my thought in a second all right okay I think this is it okay yeah so um that so yeah the, the, the fights the fights have definitely picked up it's all stuck okay it's fading away creepy 
Uh oh. You look so pleasant. Why do you have a hammer? This is like a trap door. It's probably a mat, but. Okay, clearly we're supposed to do this. And what are we looking at here? A bunch of little tiny kimonos. I guess they're for dolls. Oh, is that like a yin yang kind of thing going on, sort of? Like, not really, but kind of? Like the way that this thing is in the middle? But now, nah, probably not. Okay. On the candlelit altar is a huge gemstone as big as my palm. It looks like it might be used in some kind of ceremony. Something is reflecting light above the altar. Bellflower. Okay. Has been carved into the handle of the key. We know where that goes. Oh, it... Oh, man. I th no. Oh! Damn it. Oh, Jesus. There's more than one? Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is, this is what I was expecting before. Oh, run. Run to the middle. Yeah, man. The little girls, the little kids, are always the creepiest. Oh, man, she has such a pleasant smile, too. <laughs> There's something on the floor where the girl dressed as a shrine maiden was. Gray diary. Oh, I love my lore. Here we go, guys. I wonder if being impaled hurts. I wonder which hurts more. Oh, okay, that, that's the ceremony in this one. That's the ceremony in this one. They get, like, almost, like, uh, not crucified, but, like, yeah, like, impaled. They get, like... You guys are called. I mean, it's it's impaled to me is like one just one, but they get like actually like I bet their limbs. I wonder if being impaled hurts. I wonder which hurts worse, having the stake go in a little bit at the t at a time, or having it stabbed through all at once. I think I'd rather have the latter if I had to have one or the other. Oh my god! I wonder if they die if the stake goes all the way through. I wonder if it matters if they die. Man, Ray dreamed of that. They they staked her limbs right. Each each of the four shrine maidens took a limb. I wonder if they die if the stake goes through all the way through. All the way through what, though? That's weird. I wonder if it matters if they die. I want to impale a real priestess soon. Charming. The lullaby. Waking up, I bet. Oh, man. <laughs> Always roughly the same. I should check the plate. Old film. Oh, yeah, we have so much film. The snake bruise. So, yeah, she, she, can, now dis dis she can now discern snakes on it. Even though she's, like, looking at her own back. There's old film in the camera obscura. Tons of them. Musty film. No, I guess I won't bother. Okay. Uh oh, oh, before we do anything. Oh no, not the one. This one. Before we do anything. Must go to notes. Is it notes or file? Notes. Okay. Snake bruise. Every time I dream of the house, the snake-like tattoo gets bigger. The stabbing pain is worse every day. If things carry on like this, it will cover. Uh, it will eventually cover my whole body. And then, the dreams, the manner, what do they mean? How can I escape? The red doll room, that's where we just were, right? Mm -hmm. In the small room where I heard the lullaby, red dolls were nailed to the walls. Inside was one of the girls dressed as a shrine maiden who tried to impale me in my dream, in my daydream. Who is she? And what was she doing in there? I 
Okay. So then when we search things, then we can get new things. I don't know if we have to read those. I might hop into a uh, user room real fast. Just to, uh, I wonder if Miku's here. Just to check that, um, that bookshelf. I want to be like vigilant about this bookshelf. Okay, nothing yet. I'm assuming at some point his anthropology books that like, that's going to be a source of things. Because right now they mean nothing to her, but all of a sudden they will. And I'm going to really check the wall. Oh my God, cat. What's up, buddy? <clears throat> Is Mookie in here? No. Uh, oh, I did. Oh, did the cat run in? That's awesome. What's up, buddy? Boop, boop. Is that it? All right, see you later, buddy. Not, a, not an animal person. How do you not scritch? I must give scritch. And you. I'm onto you. I'm onto you. Okay. <clears throat> and so I guess that this way this works is we give Miku things and then she updates this. She's so dedicated. I bet she stays up late studying. On the desk are books and ca about cameras and photography. Okay. Um, can I not investigate book? Okay, so it, maybe it hasn't updated yet. But we did give her things. That's why I, I figured I would give it a shot. We gave her those, uh, the photos of the, of the grave mound and of... Is that Miku? Uh-oh. They got Miku. That sounds terrible. <laughs> is that the way it sounds? Or is she just a terrible singer? Okay. Hey, Miku. What you doing, buddy? Learning some songs? Oh, before I talk to her, maybe I should... uh. Maybe we should go in and investigate things. Oh, we have all of our film. All our film. I might as well wait to speak to Miku because we're going to have to give her things. And I want to keep checking this place. This this mirror, something about the placement of this mirror, man. I tell you what. <clears throat> I'm waiting for there to be something next to us there. And I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to get it. Oh, another thing I noticed. When I was running around, I, ne I guess the black on black made it too hard for me to notice on, on the fly. But when I was rewatching, I totally saw the cat on this pillow. <laughs> I was like, I wonder where that cat is. And then I wandered in here. And sure enough. Sure enough. Okay. So, yeah, you. And then we have our thing over here. Oh, you know what? Last time that that happens, it, um, dude, it's still on the wall. Oh, we we got to get Miku to clean this thing up. She got to clean this up. What do you think this is? <laughs> right, Ray? This place is falling apart. Last time that something appeared, it was after we took these. Um, and again, I think it was Yoshino, so it doesn't. It wasn't related. Look how many we have. Ooh, which one first? Let's start with. Okay. Oh. Uh, we took a picture of that. Oh, I guess that one automatically was given to us. Okay, so first we're going to do this one. Yes. A kimono-clad mother and daughter holding something that looks like a child. What could have happened to them? Oh, man, yeah. And it's like, is that, are they, I wonder if they were, I wonder if that was like the woman who was taking care of her. Like, is the, is the girl sleeping? Because she clearly looks like she's not, She's either not well or she's asleep. So maybe the sleeping girl that they, they like this woman would take care of her. It was like almost like a nurse for her, but like she had a daughter and her like her, and, and her husband like lived there also, but that was like her, her job. 
or not her job, but like they, she, she would do that. Okay. And then this is them again. A mother and daughter have emerged dressed in kimonos. Did they go once go missing too? If so, it must've been a long time ago. Okay. So they were holding a girl. Okay. The next one is the tree. Oh man. Oh, oh, the tree has skewered dolls. It, uh, this looks like the skewered red dolls in the courtyard with the sacred tree. Is that what those were? Those were skewered dolls. Maybe it's some kind of religious ritual. Yeah, the same thing that we saw in the in the room, right? But it was also on the tree. Uh, this one. Now your smile just looks creepy. You happy? Shrine maiden girl. The shrine maiden girl. Uh, the shrine maiden in the room full of dolls nailed to the wall. She has a, a stake in her hand, just like in my vision. Who or what could she be? And then the actual altar. Old projector. Oh no, that was another thing that I that I noticed and I completely forgot about. Oh no. Oh, I completely forgot about that. I meant to go and check the projector. It occurred to me that I was looking for a reel, but in the original, there was always a reel in the beginning. And I just never, I didn't think, I went looking for a reel without actually trying to activate it. Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. Oh, we're in another hour and everything. All right, well, we'll have to go back and try that later. An image has appeared in the projector that must have been there inside the mansion. All of them has been developed. Okay, so. Let's see if anything creepy happens. Oh my lord. No? Man, that those things, this is the wrong game for that kind of nonsense. Oh god, the mirror. Okay. Okay, now let's go talk to Miku who's acting all kinds of funny. What's up, Miku? Miku, that song. Oh, Ray, good morning. That song? I don't remember exactly where I heard it, but I feel like I've been hearing it in my dreams lately. I don't have any idea what the lyrics mean. I bet it is the camera. And this camera is different, is, is strange compared to the others that we've had. We've always had the camera and we've taken pictures with the camera. This one, we have these dreams and we wake up and the camera has old film appearing in it for us to like it's almost like the camera the camera is more than it, than it usually is in this one and i wonder if all of them are going to start showing exhibiting signs of that or if if like then again i guess i'm still assuming that there's more than one could this possibly be the same camera obscura all that time from every game i don't know oh that's right that's right i came up with the idea i finally came up with it that that, that probably is the case because K is related to Mew and Mayu. So no, but how did Miku how did Miku lose hers? Cuz Miku had hers. That's presumably she took with her. She she took So Mafuyu was friends with you, but K gave the camera to you, not Mafu, not 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 uh Miku or Mafu, Mafuyu. How would Mew and Ma how would it have gotten to all God's village. Hmm. I can't think of any way that it would have worked. I feel like I've been hearing it in my dreams lately. I don't have any idea what the lyrics mean. Could it be some sort of dialect? Dreams. Okay, there we go. She's starting to have dreams. The lullaby. Oh, boy. Okay, can you also look into this for me? What are the dreams about? I don't really remember too well, but I'm singing the songs in the dreams. While I'm singing, I start to feel homesick. Like I'm remembering someone important. At the end of the dream, I'm so scared. All I can remember is that I'm very afraid. But that's just the way dreams are, I guess. What are the dreams about? I don't really remember too well, but I'm singing the song in the dreams. While I'm singing, I start to feel homesick. Can I not give you things to research? How do we get... Miku, these things are not going to research themselves. 
I guess we're gonna we're gonna let her sleep. Uh, we go back in here, maybe. And then what? Am I supposed to be doing something? Oh wait, we just got a we just got way more. Oh wait, another thing. Uh, lullaby. Miku was singing the same lullaby I heard inside the manor. She says she heard the song in her dream too. Has she been having the same dreams? Is she being lured into the house too? So she knows she was being lured. Just like Yoshino, Takigawa, and me. Does she see Mafuyu? Like, is it not real? Or are a part of these people that are lure people in actually part of it? Oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Those black figures that surround Yoshino whenever we whenever we encounter her in, in the dream manor. I forget if I ever said this out loud. Apologies if this is a recap. I'm wondering if when she sees them, she doesn't see those dark figures. She sees her family that died in the accident and they lured her in there. And that's why she's always on the floor covering her head. And she's always like, it's not my fault I stayed alive. It's not my fault I survived. Because to her, it's her family looking at her and it makes her like, and she's and she's interpreting it as like, that it's, it's basically making her have like uh, survivor's guilt. <clears throat> and so like if she were to if if we were if someone else were to see you in the dream that ray was following it would look like that black figure as well skewer dolls inside the house in the courtyard inside the house in a courtyard surrounded by a corridor was a tree wrapped with sacred rope around it stood straw dolls skewered on stakes countless dolls in the snow what could be the significance of this eerie scene so yeah, just something cool that like, and like similarly, like if Miku ends up in the dream somehow, like maybe we see, we, maybe she starts going in there too, and we see her like wandering off after like Mafuyu or something, but we are going to see it as a thing. Like this could be a very, it, it sounds almost like this is, that's exactly what's happened. The girl who works as my assistant, the song she was singing was the lullaby I heard inside that manor. Is Miku having the same dreams as me? And they even put Mafuyu there. I think I'm, I think I might have this nailed to the wall she lost a relative someone close is that who she sees in her dreams just like me mother and daughter the mother and child who appeared in my dream in old-fashioned kimonos the daughter dropped a scrap of paper on it was an apology she had written to her mother yeah because her dad fell the child's father went to fetch her ball when she must have felt responsible for what happened that was yet another thing that i thought of that when i was watching back when we were on the roof we took a picture of something, and I couldn't make out what it was. I'm wondering if that's what happened. Her ball was, felt went out, she went out the window onto the roof or something like that, through that door. And her dad went to get it, slipped, and fell off the roof. And that's what that picture was, that I couldn't figure out what it was. It was actually her dad, and that's how he died. So much have... This game, it's... The problem with Let's Playing a game like this is that there's so, like, there's so much little detail put into things that it's hard to catch them on the fly, especially when I'm chatting them all the time. But I try to, uh, I try when I'm watching back to kind of catch things. The girls who appeared in my daydream at the deserted house, I visited on that photography assignment. Yeah. So there are four of them. In the Shrine Manor, they were in the room where the red dolls were nailed to the wall. Who or what could they be? If the manor I saw that day was, about, was the one I dream about, the one I heard about from Miku... Does that mean they were carrying out that some kind of ceremony there? Impaling people? It does seem that way, doesn't it? The projector. I can't believe I forgot this. This old projector was in the house I saw in my dreams. The images inside showed girls dressing as shrine maidens. Someone must have been there recording what goes on inside that manor. Someone must have been there recording what goes on inside the manor. Oh yeah, on the projector. I was thinking recording like writing, but like, yeah, the projector, I forgot. Okay, now. Anthropology books quickly, and I think then there will, I think after that we'll be all right. Ooh, it seems darker in this room, doesn't it? I guess not. <gasps> yes, in the bookcase there is a book with a projector similar to the one you photographed in the mansion. Ah, <sighs> we did it. Yes, the spirit world. The device shown here was left by Kunihiko Aso. 
pool. He used it to substantiate the existence of and communication with the spirit world. He was a brilliant scientist and philosopher, and by appropriating Western culture in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, we've read this, he combined new technology with his theory on the spirit world to prove its existence. Maybe it's an expanded one now because we, we got more information. It is said a few of the, his devices were able to capture an unbelievable existence from the spirit world, post, but posthumously. From that single begin, a singular beginning, his devices became a fashion item among dilettant, dilettantes? Dilettantes. Dilettantes? I bet it's dilettantes. And were scattered about the, the country. One such device is this projector. Having completed the experimental stage of the camera obscura, a camera that photographs the other world, see above, he created a screen upon which to project the special images captured on the film. The records say that images were projected that could not be seen when they were photographed. Interesting. The art of projecting the spirit world onto your file. Kunihu Guaso. Okay. Um, more to read. Not file. I do that all the time. I, I, I almost do that every time. Yes. Okay, just in case. I can go up. A scholar of the occult who lived in the second half of the 19th century... His research, known as mystical science, attempted to use the new Western technology to explain old Japanese folk beliefs and traditions about the other world. After completing his camera obscura capable of capturing images of the other world, he made a projector using the same technology. Using this, he was able to play back supernatural images recorded on film that could not be seen on conventional equipment. The old projector from the house I saw in my dream it was developed by Kunihiko So, who lived in the second half of the 19th century. He used the technology of the camera obscura to show supernatural images from another plane that can't be played on normal equipment. Okay. Same thing, just a little a little different. More directional toward the device rather than the, the inventor. Okay. And what have we here? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Good to go. And just in case, maybe over here, some devices. Is she going to be like, oh, this looks like kind of like the device that we blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm going to check her bookshelf as well. But the last thing I want to do maybe is check on Miku. Is Miku still low? Oh, I guess I could just look. Please be in here, Miku. Okay. If she's not, then it seems to me like she's still staring out there. And it's time that uh, now that I know more things, can I talk to you? Maybe that's a thing too. I'm not sure how the mechanics work exactly. Um, and then, uh, we're going to go talk to our bed, I guess, and we'll see if, uh, what are dreams about, to, uh, seeing us from home sick, we're important, I'm very afraid. That's just the way dreams are, I guess. Oh, that was different. At the end of the dream, I'm so scared. I, all I can remember is that I'm very afraid, but that's just the way dreams are, I guess. Okay. Okay, that will do it. And we're going to go ahead and run up here. And we're going to go talk to our bed, and we're going to... Man, I'm really disappointed we couldn't give Miku our things, but I wonder what happens next. Let's try these newspapers. Nope. Okay. It would be nice if... Uh... Oh, there's some more magazines over here, I guess. No. Anything over here? The musty. No, we already got the, the films. Okay. I don't feel like sleeping now. Oh, we're supposed to do something. We're 33 minutes, huh? Shoot. What am I supposed to do? Maybe now that we did all this stuff, I, I have to go back. Uh, okay, so let's let's just go everywhere. First off, let's try Miku's room because I didn't walk in. So maybe that's a thing. Hey, cat. Okay. Anything? awful actually you know what makes me feel a little better about it it reminds me of um is it edna is it edna from uh the incredibles looks a little like her okay kaleidoscopes uh, yeah i did this look over here photography maybe there's another place for me on desk are books about cameras and photography okay so then out we go to the altar or something Maybe we do research ourselves. Maybe we have to do some research ourselves. It's kind of dark in here. Could you turn this light on? No? All right. What about you? Can I take a picture of you? Is there something about you that's up? 
What's up, Miku? Say cheese, buddy. No? Okay. Like, Drizzle fell up the whole house and everything in it. This little thing that has, like... Yeah, oh, newspapers and magazines. That's another place where I should be checking things. Can I make a phone call? Call the editor? She seems to be the one who's been feeding uh, Miku all this information. Oh, Onigiri still here? Hanging out? Oh. oh. Suck the refrigerator are my work schedule, a calendar with the supermarket discount days marked on them, and a little post in it. So we've seen recipes on them. Okay, I remember reading that too. It has to be something here. Oh, man. Oh, mail. Okay. Come on, pull out the camera. An envelope has been delivered through the letterbox. <gasps> from K, maybe. Letter from K3? Th Where's letter two? Did we... Dear you, I'm sending you a testimony tape I just found about the urban legend. If I give uh, if I give it to you, I know you'll take good care of it. I found several other tapes, but as they're quite old, having been dubbed by a gramophone, they're damaged. We have the stereo upstairs. Is that how we listen to this? I'm trying to get them restored now. I'll send them to you when they're done. Nice. Lately, I've solely been researching folklore legends, folk tales, and folk religion. That was both your and Mafuyu's field, wasn't it? He talks about Mafuyu if he's alive, but he doesn't know that Yu's dead. But I suppose that makes more sense, right? That's more recent? Maybe not. Maybe I don't know that. It's an interesting world, but I don't want to get too deep into it. How is Mafuyu's sister? Her name was Miku, right? I'm searching everywhere I can, but I still don't know Junsei Takamine's whereabouts. Awesome. Maybe he was spirited away too. Yeah, I suppose in a way he was. If you got anything, let me know. Mio's health is not good, so I put her in the hospital. She only wakes once every two days. And then for only a couple hours at a time. <gasps> if she starts saying that, like, if she starts saying that she has a bruise, then then that's crazy. Mio, Mio is going to have get sick from this thing? She's too far. <gasps> right. The camera was with him before he sent it to you. Which means that K and all of, if it, it would make so much sense if it were the camera. Because he had it. Mio and Mayu got to it. Or maybe just Mio. I don't know. Mio. I keep saying me, Miyu because of Mayu. Um, Mio, Mio got, got it. He's going to get it too, possibly. Like, we're going to start getting, like, these notes. And it'll be from him being like, something's going on, blah, blah, blah. Get rid of the camera or something, but it's too late. I've got to hurry with my research. God, that scared me. I thought someone was knocking on the door. Oh, Jesus. Photograph of the girls and clothes now. Of Mio. Uh, is that Mayu behind her? I guess it is. But she doesn't. she's not blind. Is this girl Mio Ak Amakura? I always want to say Akamura. There seems to be a cassette enclosed. Oh, yes, Manner of Sleep A. The cassette looks quite old. The label reads the Manner of Sleep sleep Recordings. Case A. Maybe if I can play it on the tape deck in my room. Yes, let's go do it. Mafuyu. Mafuyu Hinasaki. She now knows his name. Oh, amazing. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is what we'll do next time. We'll do this one next time. As soon as it starts, maybe. Oh, no. No, we won't. We're going to watch it. We're going to do it right now. Here we go. Do you want to play this tape? Yes. Play the tape. In my dream, I saw my mother in that manner. Inside, there was an old shrine. It was cold. Snow was falling. I could hear a song. There were so many people going into the shrine. It, it was like a funeral procession. I could smell incense burning. Everyone was hiding their faces. My mother was among them. No matter how many times I called her, she kept going further and further. And just before the door shut, it was like I was going to be left all alone. I saw it every day. I went in just a little bit. If I went any further, I wouldn't be able to come back. But I 
thought I could meet my mother. Meet my mother. So many voices going on in the background in there, like weird, creepy ones. Okay. Hey guys, so I'm going to uh, cut out that long period of time where I was thinking about what I wanted to do at the end of this episode, and um, I'm not going to cut it here. We're going to finish up the last bit of like like few errands that we have, and then we're going to uh, we're gonna be ready to jump into Dream Manor at the end at the beginning of the next one because that's just that's just a way more fun way to do this. If we're not already in Dream Manor, I want to be about to jump in. It just it just uh, seems way way more fun that way. But yeah, first order of business. Let's see if we can give her our developed film. Uh, now because she's not out of sorts anymore. Hopefully, she can ask about Mafuyu. Ray, what's the matter? Miku, that person in the picture on your desk. That's my older brother. He's been missing for quite some time. <clears throat> that makes sense. That makes sense that she has to say that because if she shows up, if she just comes back and she can't tell anyone what happened because she's afraid they'll think she's crazy, then what the hell does she say happened to Mufuyu? She had to come back and just be like, yeah, he went missing. They probably assume that he went missing just like, um, <clears throat> um, what's his name? <clears throat> what was it? Junpei Takamine. Takamine and his, his team. I didn't know. I'm sorry for bringing it up. I was just wondering. Was it Junpei? I can't remember what his first name was, but it was Takamine, I think. Man, and that makes me think about K as well. Because K's letter came with a, a picture of Mio, which was clearly meant for our benefit, because otherwise it would have been strange. You know, he's like, oh, um, by the way, my uh, my niece Mio, blah, 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 blah. Oh, by the way, here's her, phone, here's her photo. <laughs> like, why would you? So that was clearly meant for us. But she wasn't blind. Is that indicative of the fact that Mayu is dead? I mean, admittedly, that photo actually is Mio, Mio and Mayu back to back in the beginning of the game. So it doesn't, but um, but at this, if, if we just ignore that and instead we're just like, we're taking that as the game, pro, the game designers trying to tell us, oh, can I not talk to her? Okay, so I don't know if maybe, maybe it's because of the discussion we just leave now, or if that's like, we that's not a mechanic anymore. Is that my emulator going nuts or was that just like distortion? No joke, if there was a freaking, if there was someone at the bottom of this stairway looking up at us, I would have, I, I would have jumped hard. <gasps> Look at our freaking pantry. Oh, wait, is it like, maybe it's like rain boots. It's hard to see. I have glare in here. No way, that's not rain boots. Those, that's feet. And it looks like someone wearing a dress. Uh, I'm going to do it. Uh, the storage space is the business. No, 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 normal thing. Are you for real? Yoshino, get out of our pantry, man. Nothing there now. Oh, I wonder if I took too long. I could have gotten points, maybe. Oh, my. Okay, well, I guess I was debating also whether or not I was going to show this or if I was going to just, like, <clears throat> maybe we'll do the Miku thing on camera, I guess, or something like that. Or, and then maybe I would, like, cut it again. But... Was this light always on? Is this light always on? Can I turn it off? Do I want to turn it off? Seems like I can. I could have swore this cat was just upstairs. Wasn't it next to Miku? All right, sleep well, buddy. And I guess that's it. Yep. Ectoplasm's still on the wall. Check. I'm, I was, man, I was waiting. I was, I was waiting for like a, a cut to a different camera angle with like something there like they did to us last time. How about here? Ah. Uh, nope, no feet there anymore. Okay. I wonder if there's ectoplasm around here now. 
like if there's more of that stuff. Okay. Okay, that's it. I guess that's it. Okay, I think now, okay, now we're going to go. But okay, yeah, that's going to do it. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for joining me. I always appreciate it. And please like and subscribe if you like the video. I will see you guys next time where we are going to jump into Dream Manor, which is this is the way we should end these. Um, but uh, we are, uh, uh, first things first, first order of business when we get in there, <clears throat> go right to that projector. Um, I can't believe it didn't occur to me at the time. Unless I did look at it. Maybe I did inspect it. Because I remember just looking around for a reel, but I, I don't remember actually trying to, to operate the stupid thing. I don't remember actually interacting with it to, to turn it on. So I guess we'll find out next time. But thank you guys so much again, and I will see you then. Take care.